Today we are going to show you how to make a rolling kitchen island. First of all, we have to use an 18mm MDF. Tools and other materials are listed online. So the first thing we do is to measure the edges where we are going to do the pre-drilling of the hole. So we have to make sure that the alignment of the wood will be the same. When it's perfectly done, then we draw our line. We have to do this line in the four corners of our wood so that we make sure that they have the same sizes and space. Then, after making it, we have to do the pre-drilling. So now I'm going to drill the hole in the middle of the lines I made in the edge of the wood. So we will do it in three, three times so that on both sides of the wood where we are going to place the screw. Okay, now I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay, so the same technique in the middle of the line and the edge of the wood. I'm drilling the hole. One, two, three. Now I'm done with the pre drilling of the hole. So this will be the outcome of our wood. Now I'm putting a wood glue on the wood that I am going to attach where I drill the hole so that the moment I combine them the wood will be stronger. Make sure the amount of the glue that you put are not less and not plain or more than necessary that you have to put on the wood. Now I'm going to screw it. Now I have to be sure that the screw will not come out of the other edge of the wood. So I'm screwing the, I finished screwing the top, now I'm screwing the down part. Now, then I will go to the middle one, checking if the screws are perfectly attached to the wood. Now I'm screwing the middle one. Okay, done. So see the edges are all in places and they are aligned. So this is the frame, the U-shaped frame of my rolling kitchen island. Isn't it nice? Okay, so see when we are standing in this will be the outcome. Perfect. Now I am going to make the mark of the middle shelf that I am going to create. So I'm putting the two sides of the wood and make a mark where it's going to be placed. I have to make sure that it's perfectly in the place where I wanted it to be. So that, those are the marks I have made. See? Sorry for the picture, it's not really clear. Now I'm going to drill the hole. I'm going to make <clears throat> three holes also so that when my attachment of the wood will come it will be perfectly attached this is my small wood that I am going to place in the middle before I am going to screw the partition so this is my guide how it will be or the space in between the main frame and the partition. Okay, now it's time to drill. Ooh, 
have to make sure that the screws will not be coming out of the partition that I am attaching to it. Okay, now perfect, I'm done. So I'm now putting the braids for the top. I am using a fast adhesive glue so that to mean so that it will stick to it at once without the screw. I don't want to put any screw on the top of it. So I'm using the fast adhesive glue. Have to make sure also that everything is in line or aligned. The edges and see how I did it. With the help of my long now. <laughs> so now see it's perfect. Aligned without anything coming out so i have to put an extra glue on the top so that it will stick more it will hold the wood more that's what i need now this is the structure of the main frame that i have done isn't it cute and the wood is nice now i'm taking the measurement of the normal uh, microwave this is 260 mm so that is the distance i am going to make to put on the shelves for my rolling kitchen island okay so this is the measurement so i'm now going to mark now I'm drilling the hole to put the shelf holder. I have to make sure <clears throat> I'm putting the first adhesive glue so that it will hold the shelf holder so that it won't come out. Then knock it, knock it, knock it, knock it, knock it, knock it, knock it. Oh, yeah. I have to make sure that they are perfectly and stuck on the wood. Another drilling. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. <sighs> okay, now I'm going to put the first adhesive glue and the shell folder again. I have to make sure again. No. I am using a rubber hammer for your information so that it won't crack the shelf holder. Now, this is the structure of my rolling kitchen island. See how it's nicely done, neat, and very, very spacious for all the things that you need to put inside. Now, I'm putting the shelf. The shelf is removable so that if you don't want to use it, you can take it off and put some other thing. I'm putting another <coughs> fast adhesive glue so to create where I am going to put some small, small buttons. It's also a, like a shelf also, but in a... Small, small can items. As as always, we have to make sure that they are always aligned with each other. So I am putting the other side with the blue again, the fast adhesive blue as my partner. Partners in front. <laughs> I have to make sure that the amount of glue I'm putting is correct, that it won't uh, collapse my structure. 
Okay. I'm putting the other end the same as what I have done before. Okay. Make sure they are aligned also. And hold it for some time. Sorry, I put my fingers there. Okay. The cameraman has made his fingers extra. Okay. See that small idea. Wow! This is the finished product of the rolling kitchen island. See how neat and nice it is. These are the things that you can put inside. Can anything, any display, canned goods, fruits, or whatever you wanted to put. A teacup on the top. You want to make coffee or you want to serve somebody with the coffee, you can also use my rolling kitchen island. Like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.